What's up, you guys? Welcome to the channel. Today, we are heading out to one of my favorite junkyards out here in California. It is the LKQ in Ontario, and we're gonna take the F-150, and let's see what we find. Let's do it. Looks like another 66. Not a lot of parts left. I think that's a C6. Doesn't look like it. It looks like a cruise matic See that bell housing shape? Yeah, it looks like those cruise matics So, fortunately, no C6. This is a really awesome car. 68 AMC Javelin. Man, I've never seen one of these in person but wow very very cool lots of small parts still usable and i have no idea where you would get parts for this car i think they're even more rare than a lot of the cars that i work on super super cool Looks like that's the engine block. Hmm. Some nice uh, quarter panels on it though. Usable. It's got like a little 
little rear end on it, nothing special. But very, very cool. Let's see. Nice tail light. Hmm. Wow. Very cool. Here's that 60 Galaxy that I did a video on. This was months and months back. Can't believe it's still here. Still got the nice quarter panels on it. It's got a nice trunk piece. Still usable, looks like. The hood, the uh, trunk is all messed up. Trunk lid. I took the hood on this car, I still have it. <laughs> But that seat is really, really cool. If anybody needs a seat, man, this is a nice one right here. We need to be recovered, of course. Plates on it. Yeah, this thing, they took everything out of here. Door cards are right there. You even took the engine. <laughs> it had a 390 in it. I believe we're at 352. Everything is gone. So unfortunately, it's not a C6. Um, I thought the 66 Thunderbirds always came with C6s. But yeah, the bell housing doesn't look right. And that it only has 14 oil pan bolts. So I really don't think this is a C6. But, I mean, looks like a good block. Maybe clean up. Who knows? And check out these valve covers. They look pretty nice, but then they have a couple of big dents on this one. Check that out. So, I don't know if I'll be able to fix that. And I already have a couple of sets, so I don't need more. It's got the disc brakes on the back right there. So. Nice, not too bad. Here is the VIN number for it. 6Y87, 87 is a Thunderbird. Uh, I think they call it Landau. And then here is a Z. So this is a Z code car, which means that this car is a 390. This is a 390 block. So pretty cool. Not a 428, not a Q code. <laughs> that would be really cool to find one of those in this junkyard. That would be amazing. But uh, yeah, not the C6 that I was looking for and not a lot of cars out here, but we're gonna have to keep looking. Man, I really like these Barracudas. When I last came, there was only one but they since put this red one here and check that out. If you have a Barracuda, man, you come over here, you have a lot of nice parts. And then last time I came, it still had that rear back glass. It still had the bucket seats and looks like everything is gone. So this car had some really nice parts. Not sure why it would be here in the first place, but there you go. Three months ago, it still looks. Maybe they can't find any more. Yeah, there's a. Sometimes they have a lot, but this time I don't know. I never seen it this small. <laughs> uh, yeah. What are you building? Uh, right, right now I have a Galaxy. Galaxy. Sixty-four Galaxy. Here's that little 68 Thunderbird. Again, lots of nice parts, but these cars aren't really, not really well liked or huge, hugely popular. Let's see that, look at that. Wow, it's a nice cluster right here, very nice. Look at that. Pretty much no cracks on the lenses. Always one crack right here. 
Oh, you gotta change the whole thing. It's all one piece. So, <laughs> yeah, I like Thunderbirds. They're pretty cool. The interior is always really nice. What they did back in the day. But they just weren't as popular, I guess. This breaks. No engine, no trans. And check out this 59 Galaxy. Last time I saw this car, it had all the trim on it and the front bumper and everything. Looks like it still has the engine on it. Probably a 352. Check that out. So lots of good brackets if you need that stuff. It's a nice fender. Man, if you had, if I had a 59 Galaxy, I'd be set with all this sheet metal. Check that out. It's a nice air cleaner. Look at that. It's a nice shape. Nice front window if you need it. Lots of good stuff. I mean, look at that back window. I don't know where you'd get another back window. That's in really nice shape. Definitely, definitely usable. The old school Studebaker Suburban. Lots of nice parts. Check out that seat. bad <laughs> check this out this montego i can't believe i passed right by it and uh, i was wondering what it was and i looked over and i saw it had a little 302 and it's a montego wagon this is crazy a lot of the montego stuff is the same as a cyclone so a lot of very nice parts we could use here wow look at that dash pad Definitely, definitely do not see a dash pad. Looks to be a bit warped, or I don't know if that's how it that's how it is on that side right there. Probably warped. But yeah, I don't know where you're gonna find another one of these dash pads. Really nice. Lower dash there is usable. Looks like the same floor as my Torino as well. The front plant front front pans right there it's got the seat right there let's see what else it has over here a lot of parts in the back door cards all had ac on it wow. 69 mercury montego wow that is cool, super cool. I don't think it has a rear end in it anymore. Nope, they took it. Probably, I don't know if it had the nine inch. If it's a 302, who knows? Very cool find, very cool find. Check out the gas cap, <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> There's a dash, uh, AC dash. Dash pad is definitely warped. But look at these gauges. Not too bad, I mean, it's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Under the car right here, it's got a C4 transmission with the A servo. So, it's got the power steering ram. Not bad, I mean, not bad parts. 
Very cool. Can't believe I just completely missed this car. Check out this 70 T-Bird. Um, at first I thought it was a 460, but I don't think these cars came with a 460. So it looks more like a 429. And I uh, looked over at the VIN. Right there, OJ84, the letter N, which is a 429, not a 460. Unfortunately, this would have been a pretty cool motor to get, cool engine. But check out that interior. Like I said, I mean, these Thunderbirds, I never knew why they didn't catch up. You know, when they weren't as popular, the interior is just really, really cool on every Thunderbird. Check that out. Really cool. But not a 460. 429 <laughs> not too bad Got this little Ford Pinto. <laughs> I don't even know if it has an engine in it. Nope. It took the engine off it. And maybe it blew up from the back. From the gas tank in the back. <laughs> you see that? That's where the gas tank is at. So, if you get hit in a Pinto, <laughs> You're gonna want to be careful driving one of these around. <laughs> Not too bad. Check it out. Another little, it's like a 302. Ice cream van. A lot of nice parts on it. That looks to be a C6, but that's for a small block Ford. It's got the seats, not too bad. C6, nice. All right, guys, that's gonna be it. Uh, we didn't really find a lot of parts. I was looking mainly for a C6 for an FE, but as you saw, they were all mainly uh, Cruzomatics, but not a lot of cars this time. Uh, it just happens, you know, sometimes we leave the yard and we don't get anything. But a big shout out to Barn Fine Hunters that sent me this merch, which is really, really cool. But I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Let me know what was your favorite car that you saw. I think for me, it had to be that AMC. That thing was just super, super cool. I've never seen those and man, I would love to own one someday, but that's it. See you guys on the next one.